Top 10 Most Expensive Virtual Items Ever Sold You think real life is expensive? Just wait until you hear about the top 10 most expensive virtual items ever sold. Seriously, these are gonna leave you scratching your head. Number 10 And number 10, we've got some legendary loot to talk about. The Echoing Fury Mace This bad boy ain't just any old trinket, oh no. It's a rare beast with crazy high damage for a one-handed weapon, plus sick critical hit damage. Once this beauty was discovered, players went nuts trying to get their hands on it. And guess what? The bidding frenzy was real. The initial owner, maybe in a tight spot, sold it for a few hundred bucks. But hold on, cause the mace's value was about to explode. In-game gold started flowing like crazy, and the echoing fury mace got snatched up for a jaw-dropping 40 billion in-game gold. Now, get ready for the mind-blowing part. That's like anywhere between 9 to 14 grand in good old US dollars. Number 9. So, in Age of Wu Lin, they dropped this rare gem called the Dragon Slang Saber, and man, it's a game changer. Now get this. While most crazy expensive stuff usually goes to super fans of established franchises, Snail Games did something wild. They auctioned off their epic digital goods while the game was still in beta. On their beta launch day in China, they held this epic auction for multiple in-game items. Most of them went for a couple thousand bucks, and there were plenty to go around. But the Dragon Slang Saber? Oh no. It was the big boss of unique gear. It had a jaw-dropping, mind-boggling price of 100,000 yuan, which was like a whopping 16 grand in USD then. Number 8. In the dynamic world of Dota 2, a virtual pet servant known as a courier has gained immense significance as a virtual gameplay element, delivering freshly acquired items to players. While it may not define the core essence of Dota 2, the allure of customization in microtransactions has forged a path to astonishing heights. How astonishing, you ask? Well, one player's daring devotion to stand out from the rest culminated in an awe-inspiring transaction. An astounding $38,000 was willingly spent to transform their virtual donkey into an extraordinary marvel. The renowned artifact, the Ethereal Flame's Pink War Dog, exuding the essence of a formidable four-legged juggernaut, remains an exceedingly scarce courier skin, granted solely to a privileged few. Number 7. In the wild world of Second Life, there's this virtual version of Amsterdam that went for a whopping $50,000. So, Second Life is one game that really lives up to its name. It's like a whole virtual universe that mimics real life, where you can actually spend real money on virtual stuff. And get this, some players have gone next level by setting up their own businesses in the game and making money while they're snoozing. Now, here's the kicker. One super creative player took their imagination to the max and crafted a mind-blowing 3D model of Amsterdam inside the game. And you won't believe it, but they managed to sell it in an online auction for that massive $50,000 payday. I need me some designer courses from him. Number 6. Here we go. Everybody knows about this one. CSGO Skins you won't believe the price these things can fetch, depending on how they look and the crazy bids they get. But hold on to your hats, cause here comes the controversial star, the M4A4 Howl Skin. This bad boy is no joke, going for a jaw-dropping price tag anywhere from $2,455 to a mind-boggling $12,560. Yeah, you heard that right. It's like real-world weapon values we're talking about here. Picture this, a wolf head coated in fiery red hues. How cool is that? This skin rolled out in the 2014 update of Counter-Strike Global Offensive and came with the Huntsman Collection. Now, back then, it was super rare. And guess what? It's still crazy rare even today. Here's the twist, though. 
Due to some copyright drama, it got removed from the original collection, making it even more elusive and precious. Some versions of this beast can even fetch a jaw-dropping $100,000. Number 5. Back in the day, when Ethereum was gaining mad popularity for all kinds of decentralized apps and games, there was this gem called CryptoKitties that took the whole scene by storm. Picture this, cute, adorable digital cats that you could breed and trade, all on the Ethereum blockchain. It got so crazy that the network couldn't even handle the sheer volume, and people were going nuts to snag some ETH to get their paws on these virtual furballs. But here's the real kicker. One rare crypto kitty, a non-fungible token, ERC721, was sold for a mind-blowing 600 ETH in 2018. That's like a whopping $170,000 at the time. Talk about virtual treasure, right? Those crypto kitties were the OGs of the crypto world, no doubt. Number 4. So we all know that traditional video games are all about fun and thrills, but crypto games? Oh, they take things to a whole new level, cause they're all about that sweet moolah. Take Decentraland, for example. It's like a pioneer in the world of crypto games that got regular players hooked, not just crypto heads. And here's the deal, everything in this game is a money-making machine. Your avatar's name, the land you walk on, clothes, cosmetics, you name it. It's all about those micropayments. And the coolest part is, Decentraland doesn't rely on boring old USD or any other regular currency. Nah, they got their own rockin' blockchain-powered digital currency for the full virtual experience. Now, back in 2018, things got really wild when some player dropped a jaw-dropping 2,800,000 Decentraland mana. Yeah, that's their native crypto, to claim a piece of virtual land. Can you believe it? That was a whopping 1,000 ETH, which back then meant around $215,000. Virtual land, real serious money. Number 3. If you thought real estate was pricey, wait till you hear about this deal. In the crazy world of Entropia Universe, there's an epic space station called Crystal Palace, and it's worth a mind-blowing $333,000. This space hub became a hotspot for travelers exploring planet Calypso, and the smart owner could rake in some serious cash by setting taxes for hunters and other players operating from there. Talk about a sweet deal. Now, hold on to your hats, cause this gets wild. A player with the name Buzz Eric Lightyear went all in and dropped a whopping 3 million in-game currency to own this cosmetic real estate. And you know what? That mind-blowing amount translates to over 300,000 actual dollars. Buzz Lightyear, you've taken virtual real estate to infinity and beyond, my guy. Number 2. Entropia Universe is the super cool MMORPG where the economy is all crypto style. Yeah, I'm not kidding. So, in Entropia, players can buy and sell virtual stuff using PED, Project Entropia Dollars. But here's the kicker. PED is pegged to the good old USD at a 10 to 1 rate. Crazy, right? This setup gave rise to a totally organic in-game market, just like the economies in EVE Online and Lineage 2. You know the drill. Items get valued based on demand, rarity, and all that economic jazz, just like regular and crypto assets. But get this, some players struck gold. Between 2008 and 2012, virtual assets in Entropia Universe were changing hands for tens of thousands of dollars, smashing Guinness World Records. And the grand champion? In November 2010, John Jacobs got an epic $635,000 check for his virtual club Never Die, a hot spot in Entropia Universe. Number 1. The Entropia Universe has also got this colossal virtual world called Planet Calypso. And let me tell you, it blew past all records like a boss. This mind-blowing planet was snatched up from the developers, Mindark, for a crazy 6 million bucks by C Virtual Worlds. Talk about a mega deal. And here's where it gets even crazier. 
In just over one year, 2010, this planet saw a whopping $428 million in transactions. No wonder, the price tag makes sense now. But wait, there's more. C Virtual Worlds even had plans to add Planet Michael to the game, like to honor the legendary Michael Jackson and support the charities he loved. It was gonna be epic, but things went nuts and they even had to turn it into its own game. So, do you think any of these are worth the money? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more of the same. Thanks for watching.